This is the 190th episode of Cloud Focus Weekly for the second week of September 2014. This episode is titled Apple Announcements. Cloud Focus Weekly is brought to you by Arcus, and we are hiring. If you are a Salesforce consultant and want to be part of a unique and growing company, send your resume to careers at arcusinc.com. That's A R K U S I N C.com. I'm your host, Jason Howard, and joining me, co host for 190 times in a row, has not missed a beat at all. All these bobbing and weaving back here. We're both in a Friday afternoon kind of mood. Justin Elstein, Justin, how are you I'm doing in a today? Friday afternoon coma. I got two things to say. One, you leave nothing to chance with the title of this podcast. <laughs> Wonder what they'll be talking about on the Apple Announcements podcast. You know what's funny? I As I was doing it, I'm like, this is the lamest. It's like I picking usually, Spring 11 as your app pick it, of the week. It is a little bit. It's my lamest title ever. 190 <laughs> titles. Not even 190. 190 plus. Here's, here's all I have to say about episode number 190. Yeah. It's the best episode yet. All other, we've taken all other episodes, oh, that and we made this one even better. The last episode was the best episode we ever did, and then we re-engineered it using design and engineering. And then we talked and our to metologists people who did and Apple. We made this one the best ever. You'll never want another one until we give you another. We one. recreated sound. You will never want number 191 until next week when we give you 191. And that'll be better than 190. Will be nothing. Worst (laughs) episode ever. (laughs) All right. Well, obviously, we're going to. Everything sounds better in Johnny Ive voice. Johnny Ive voice. It's our new hashtag. JIV. So, we this week, Apple did some announcements. They is pretty big. There's some other news going on. We'll do that on next time. Everyone who listens knows we're Apple. Fanboys, and whenever they do a thing, we're gonna be all over it. We're gonna leave Salesforce behind for a week. Would a fanboy have a cutout of an iPhone six plus and a on, six on paper? On paper, well, a cutout in my hands uh, that I know, walked along the streets making fake phone calls on. People who don't know you well and only know you through the podcast would yes. know that it would take a very serious and monumental thing for you to print something. <laughs> That's true. You print maybe six pieces of paper every year. I, if, if I could keep it under there, I would. So for you to print that thing <laughs> just to see which iPhone you wanted to buy is pretty crazy. This tree died for a good reason. That tree died so you could decide which two or three or four hundred dollar <laughs> device you wanted to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. All right. So uh, we're not going to discuss the blog week, the blog post of the week because it is about uh winter 15 because it's the best one ever and, and we will like, we'll have it next week we'll have double pot um double blog post next week so we'll talk about both we'll get back to like more of a winter 15 but with all the apple announcements we figured we just dive into the apple stuff let's do a little dream for stuff before and we'll get that out of the way and then we'll just get right into the let's apple world it. um so we we have confirmed can we talk about our times yet can we talk about the the what <laughs> the what <laughs> the studio oh yeah yeah we yeah. can yeah so i think we can we talk talked about... about it last week yeah but i think we yeah so anyway there will be at dreamforce in the admin zone correct uh in the corner which is in moscone west yes yes no it's in I the it moscone west i thought it was in the hilton Oh man, I'm so. Oh no, it's in the, no, confused. you're right. It's in the Moscone West. You're right. I am right. Right. So like, we're okay. that will be great. We're in like prime, so, we prime spot. Our booth over there. Anyway, um, so we're over in Moscone West. We are going to do three one hour live podcasts. Right. We actually have the schedule studio soon. I guess we have a schedule with we an on air sign. With an on air sign, which is so cool. We're going to on air. So you're going to be able that. to sit and listen to like in live us talk. It's gonna be a little strange. I will not say sure because why you'd want to, but hey, go for well, it. If then that's you how you want to spend your but dreams. Wait, wait, wait. If you come and listen to us, you better download anyway. If you come and listen, you have to download, and I might throw things at you. Yes, well, things that they can keep, and they'll be soft, so they won't hurt. So, just as a as a reminder, if you want to find Arcus, the company, us, where we might be hanging out at the booth, you can always come to N one zero three two, which is the North Hall one zero booth one zero three two. Um, if you want to register for under forty five thousand dollars, get a hundred bucks off that. You use right. the code EC fourteen Arcus, and then you can register to get a hundred bucks off. Um, again, we're gonna do a podcast studio. We are gonna be announcing and showing our new um, product at Dreamforce, brand new product, uh, which we will world premiere. World premiere will be at 
Dreamforce. Like we won't even, you have to come to the booth to find it. Like you won't, we'll talk about it on the air, like what it is, but you won't be able to like touch it. Until it is booth. right now being installed in other orgs. It's so exciting. Yes. It's a the beta package is available. Nice. Nice. It has a, uh, an install link and everything. Awesome. Um, so that's being worked on. So that's all the Dreamforce speak. news. Uh, let's get talking about some Apple announcements. So on Monday, in true Apple fashion, they dominated. They set up. They created. They went back to the stage. They announced the iMac from the Mac the, and the Mac from same yeah. stage, and they did the Apple. I think this is almost coming like a September thing. This is something they do every year. This is why this is not as thrilling. So they, oh, we kind of know their pattern, right? It's. The, at the WWDC, you announce the, the software. software, and on you do the hardware in the fall, and then and then come um, like winter time. There's another hardware be, announcement. That'll be the iPads, guarantee and, you and know the laptops, iPads. and they'll be greater than they ever were. The best laptops ever. So uh, the but, steel that we've molded this out of <laughs> is from another planet. <laughs> we, we, we built a time machine. We went back and got steel. We went from, forward. And got the greatest steel ever. So um, we went into Game of Thrones and got Valerian steel. That would be a nice phone. So there's a bunch of announcements. We're going to go over some of them, talk about like what we're excited about, what we're not. They started off with really probably the least interesting of the announcements because yeah. it is like it is like clockwork, ha, 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 which is the iPhone, the new iPhone. Yeah. Um, this was, I think, the worst set of leaks I've ever seen. I mean... It was everywhere. It was just everywhere that this was coming out. The sizes, there was pictures, a walkthrough video. Again, I think people make so much money on leaking now that it's how are you going to stop somebody? Stick it in your pocket, leave. So they announced a uh, high level. They announced two new phones, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Pro. Plus. Plus. I have Pro in here. It's Plus. I'm going to help and you out there. two new sizes. Right. Um, one's have, big, one's bigger. You have big and bigger. And uh, a lot of new features in them. I mean, there's a lot about the camera does this and the. I mean, they do hype up a lot. It's a new shell, so it's curved. It's a little more curved, skinnier. But really, the big Thinner. thing is the size. It's size. For the first time, almost since ever, they've kind of gone up a bigger size. All the Samsungs, everything's getting bigger. We're getting into what you know the terminology is: phablets, phablets, Love phablets. Me a phablet. So there are two now. Uh, which my immediate thought, I think this has been on the news around, is this very un-Steve-like. Like, Like, this is Tim Cook's first first sort of he's taken over the reins because Steve Jobs doesn't release two things of different sizes. He His theory was, I know what's right for you, and I'm going to give you the size you need, and that's the size you're going to get. So it's interesting to see Apple kind of go, choose, because they don't generally do that. It's like, here's your thing, take it. And this is the, what's the best thing it's ever been and the only way you should use it, and that's it. So do you fact, feel that way about the iPad, or do you feel like the iPad and the iPad Mini are two distinct product lines? How do I feel about the iPad? I mean, I love the iPad Mini. It is probably my favorite device. But do you feel like they're the same thing, or do you feel like they are two distinct, distinctly different product lines? Like, you would have both. I know you have both. Oh, you don't. wouldn't have both of I these. Have, I don't have the iPad You don't have the Air. iPad Air? No. So that was another one where they gave choice. Yeah, but what, when was that? Last year. Last year, yeah. I think it's... Or two years ago, whenever the Mini came out. Yeah. No, they did the Mini, then they did the iPad Air, because that was the Mini refresh, was when the iPad Air came out. Anyway, so 6, 6 Plus, what are your first reactions? What are your first sort of, like, what do you think? You've watched the video. We actually I've watched, watched it. I watched the, the keynote... Read some articles. Read a couple of articles. As always, I get this phone every year like clockwork. Hey, <laughs> he. Uh, every time. It, every time. He, 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 he. So it doesn't, to me now, it was just like, which one? I was happy to see, okay, there's still the 16 gig. That's never going to work for me ever again because apps again. are getting too big. And now with just the size of photos because the camera is better, the size of videos, the HD video. I mean, this thing is true, like 1080p, the plus. And, and really, and I think it's a lot to do with the screens because the screens are so much, they're high res. So that means every icon, every picture, every background has to be high res, which right. means that everything just kind of expands. And every game has, right. it's, it's just insanity. It is insanity. 
and then everything just sits there in your messages and your email and whatnot. Although I guess email, they don't have it all sitting there. But anyway, um, I was really excited about, I mean, it's hard to talk about the phone, the hardware, without some of the other big stuff that they announced we'll at the talk same about that. time. We talk about the screen sizes. And yeah, I mean, I, you and I have different, we're going to go for different choices. I think we are. I'm going to go for the plus. I'm going to go for the plus size model. Yes. <laughs> and you are going to go for the uh, the the skinny girl. I just, because I sit here with my two little printouts, because that's the only way I could figure out. Well, we had my friend come down last night yes. and, and hand me his he Galaxy. He had a Galaxy 5S. S5. S5. We don't know what those are Which called. is... Bigger, bigger than the, than iPhone, the 6, iPhone 6, but, but smaller. smaller than the iPhone 6 Plus. Correct. And I remember holding it thinking, this is big, but manageable. I think it came down, I don't know. Well, t- tell me why you want the Plus. I want the bigger screen. Okay. And I do carry around. There's, There are a lot of times where I'm carrying my phone and my iPad mini. Right. At the same time, and I feel like this will actually cut down on the amount of times I carry my mini around. So you, me. so you think this? If you're carrying your iPhone Mini and your phone, you think that iPhone Six Plus replaces? It's not going to replace my iPad Mini because I love me my iPad Mini, but it's going to replace it when I am like walking around when? out and about at Dreamforce. I might not bring my iPad Mini to to. I'll bring it to san francisco but i may not bring it with me to the show where i normally would not even think about it it'd be like i'm bringing my phone and i'm bringing my ipad but with but this don't you i've bring... got a little bit more screen real estate to do things with what what is it that you think you, this is what i want to get in so what is it you think you're going to be doing on your iphone 6 plus that you were doing on your mini but now is so much better to do on your iphone 6 plus it's just a bigger screen yeah, but that's all. not a thing. That's that's descri- that's redescribing the the, the but, well, an iPad and an iPhone are they're pretty close, and they do a lot of the same oh. stuff. Yes, they run but... the same operating system. One's just bigger. <laughs> yes, so but this isn't big enough to be. It's not big enough to take on a plane and watch videos on. It's no, not big enough to really game bringing, on it. Which is why I'm bringing my iPad with me. I'm just not going to bring it to the show i'm not going to bring it with me to the conference itself especially on the first day i'll see if i miss it so that's, miss what I'm, it. that's what i'm sort of asking is like what do you think that you're doing in the... well tell me what do you do with your ipad when you bring it well, to sell i'll to tell you Dreamforce. why i bring why i had why both... do you bring it with you to the conference well why i have both on me a they're two different devices and they actually act as backups to each other in this day and age of phones and whatever like i like having I like having a device that, if this device goes down, doesn't have battery power or whatever, um, I find the phone, and I think I'm now even convincing myself more, the phone is like calls, quick messages. It's like it's like the device that I'm just doing little bits of stuff. Then when I want to do more stuff, I wouldn't do it on this because this isn't big enough to do the more stuff. I then go to a bigger device where I can do more stuff. Maybe I can do a little bit more writing. I can read better. I can do that stuff. I can maybe do a bigger, longer email. But then that point, this little thing, as we've discussed before, becomes, I'm pointing to the iPad mini next to me, um, becomes, oh, well, that's not good enough, so I need to go to this, which is the ultimate machine. This is the laptop in front of me. And this is where I can do everything. And then there's the next step up, which is I'm on a laptop. I'd rather sit in front of a big screen, a 27-inch screen with a full keyboard and mouse, and that's like... Now I'm at now I'm at full capacity. So to me, it's just levels of work or levels of things I can do. And I guess the thing about the phone is I now use my phone for the health and all that tracking stuff. So I have my phone on me to do that. And so the bigger the phone gets, the more I don't want to have it on me because it sticks out of the pockets. It's bigger. It's whatever. I almost wish they did an iPhone 5S with all the stuff in it. But just the same size. Like that's what I'm. I guess that's my issues. I'm looking at my phone, and I don't have any problems with the size of the screen because I never look at it like, oh, I can't wait to. I wish I can't have more if I could do something else because I don't do anything on this that that needs a big screen. Well, you've got a lot of folders there, a lot of games. But I don't do any of this stuff. So why do you have it on there? I just if you I don't do them. any of it. Why do you even have it? Because the things I do on my phone, I check whether. 
I put stuff in OmniFocus. I quickly go through email. I basically flag or do quick answers. I do little bits of message. I do phone. And I have some apps like Salesforce One and Authenticator and Instacast. But I run with this. And so that's one of my things. It's like, this is, this, I've always considered this bulky to run with. I'm not sure I want to run with that. That's, I don't want to run with this either. This iPad strapped to my thing. Well, so. it's, not, it's not even half the size of the iPad. I mean, come on. It's more than half. Anyway, I, so that's just, you know, I honestly don't want when we get them and we screen. touch them, which we'll be able to talk about in, I guess, two weeks maybe. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll compare and contrast. But would you have considered if they made this molded, whatever, small screen, the lighter. The current 5S? If they did, like, let's call it the 5T. Yeah. So it had everything that's in the five, the six. Because the reason, the reason I wouldn't even stay with this is because I want all this next stuff we're about to talk about. Yeah. But like that, that to me is I'm excited about the the technology that's in the phone. The screen is not the thing that's that I'm looking I said. for. I think it's 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 hard to talk about like why I'm excited about the iPhone six without talking about the next stuff. All right. But like speed, like. Yeah. If even if you give me the exact same, this is why I bought this one because I think from wasn't it five to this was yeah. speed in the M7 speed. chip, better chips. Right, I, I want speed and the Touch ID. Oh, and Touch ID. Right, I want that. But screen has never been something I've looked at this phone and I've I and again I'm a different person because I have this iPad Mini over here that I love and use constantly. So I never look at it like if I want to if I'm going to play a game of Madden, I go to the iPad Mini. If I'm going to check my fantasy scores, I go to my iPad mini. I'm going to go to, like, whatever. So I think if you – and this is when I read one of the articles. They were saying if you don't have an iPad mini, this is this is a tweener device. Now you're, like, you got a tweener. Yeah, I'm going to go with the tweener. Yeah. And I'm thinking back to my days of longer commuting when I used to sit on a train for an yes. hour. I mean, I would have – bring that? No, because – then I wouldn't. I why put it in my bag and make my bag heavier? Because it's got a ton, ton more battery power. It can I'm just actually. Saying I, w- I wouldn't do it. I would just mm-hmm. I get to work and charge the phone. That's it. Yeah, that's all. All right. So let's talk about the other stuff that's in it's here. Not like I'm on there for a seven, like a plane. Yeah, I'm bringing the iPad Mini because the iPad Mini rocks with battery. I oh mean, yeah, it's great. I've I've flown nine hour flights and right. use the thing the whole way. And it's like, wow, this thing really does hold up. And it also takes away from the phone. Like when I get on a plane, I turn off my phone, completely turn it off, shut it down, whatever, because I don't need it. So then it doesn't have to use battery while yeah, I'm on the, the plane. The only thing Apple still hasn't allowed is they still have not allowed me to install WhatsApp on my, on my iPad. Is that a Apple or a yeah, WhatsApp? It's Apple. Just don't believe It's that. not in the store on the iPad. I can't get it onto the iPad. Oh, you can't even download it. Right. In any way, shape, or form. Yeah, forget like universal app or whatever. Oh, okay. It doesn't, it does not exist. And you've tried the, of course. I've tried everything. Well, you can't get it on there. (laughs) I'm sure someone has. If someone has figured out how to get WhatsApp onto the iPad, can you please let me know? So even when you search, and then you search for iPhone apps. It's not on there. Can't get to it. Huh, that's weird. But I wonder if that's them doing a – there's a checkbox on the developer thing that says make this there's available. There's no way WhatsApp's that stupid. And that's true. Um, all right, so let's talk about the, the cool, like, stuff. And, again, I don't think the photo stuff is amazing me anymore. Whatever. Photos are photos. Lots of photos. I take lots it of takes, photos. It takes better it photos. Takes better photos. Well, it takes look. slower, slow-mo video, which I never use anyway. But I've seen I've my, done it a couple times. I've seen my wife. done. She's done some pretty cool ones, but she's got an eye for that kind of thing. Um, and I have – so the big thing is really Apple Pay. Yes. Which, going back to our conversation about coin, the first thing I'm watching this, and I literally texted you and I said, <sighs> coin just got killed. So if you didn't remember us talking about this, coin is this new electronic credit card that can have all your cards in it. And it's they got delayed and they went into beta and we're both in the beta, um, although we haven't gotten the device yet. And I'm almost thinking we will never get the device. Yeah, just give me a refund. I don't know if they're going to do that. Hand your dollars. I think they're going to literally just be like, sorry. Sorry, you paid us for nothing. No, for any, that's yeah. not cool at all. I've seen it happen. That is not that's cool. That's called going out of business. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Apple Pay. We were watching they the video. They should just ship me one that doesn't work just so I can I, have it. Yes. Well, that's what they did with Stormfly, that thing I bought for my daughter. They shipped you one. It doesn't work. And they said, we can't we can't replace it. It doesn't work. We're not going to support it. Sorry. 
sorry. I wouldn't mind that. I'd be like, I have this thing that never works. Just nail it to the wall. Yep. Nail that hundred dollar bill to the wall. Right. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> collector item. So let's talk about Apple Pay. So Apple Pay is we. You've been a hu- you're a huge fan of you know the, all the chopped apps, all the apps you can do the scanning, all that. This basically seems to me like it's taken the best of all those worlds. Not made, the best. Why not? It's missing something. Oh well, let's talk about what it does, and you can tell me what's missing. So it is on your device. It has to be iPhone six or six plus. It is NFC, which is a very standard um, standard communication protocol. It's based under Touch ID, so it's secure. They've built it into a secure chip inside of it. Yep. Nothing, what's amazing, and then you're putting in the credit card, you take a shot of it, it goes in, they connect Nothing your bank. Nothing new about that. Nothing new about that. before. But, and in your passbook, you've got all your credit cards. Yep. You step up, you put it next to the thing. It says, you want to pay with this? You say yes. And you touch you ID t- it. Touch ID it. It says okay. What I think is so cool is that it's very, and again, I think this is where Apple is is very good at saying, here's what we do well and here's what we don't do well. Everything is secure and nothing is shared. Right. The merchant gets money, but nothing else about you. Right. They don't they they literally send them a secure payment ID that they generate as a one time thing. Apple doesn't know who you purchased from or what you did or anything else. So no information exactly. about that. So it's like it's both doing this very secure thing, but also keeping it very private. Which again, in this world of, of physical cards, where you hand your, I mean, I've had, my card gets hacked every year. Like I really, really oh yeah, one of my cards every year. That's terrible. Well, I've never had my, I've oh yeah, never stolen, ever ever had, had it my hacked. corporate one done about a month ago. It happens all the time. So I um I'm excited that no one gets to have my card because that's what happens. You hand you're at some gas station, you hand it over, and they get, right. take a swipe of it, and then they go around and. Or you have you some know. shady place and you stick your card into the ATM or right. something. I mean, I know this doesn't so couple, really solve so, for that, but well, that's what I'm kind of interested in. So, how do I get cash out of this thing? How do I get cash out of? I want to step up to an ATM. Yeah, go bing bing, and then out comes money. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> it does a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just wanna, give me money button, but the you know, money button. I, I think the thing is, if I could do this and trust it well enough, again, it's really up to the merchant. This is, a, this is sort of the thing I was yeah. thinking about. You with can't the coin. just leave your wallet at home because no. what if you walk into a store and they don't support it and you don't have your wallet? Right. It's not like, like you can print out your it's card. It's not like you're going to have your driver's license on it at the moment. I mean, like we saw, their vision is to replace the wallet. If your vision is to replace the wallet, you need to replace all the things people put in their wallet, such as their driver's license, their health insurance, right. their their the their car registration. Well, all car registration, leave in the car. Probably right. shouldn't, but yeah, not a good place I'd for do it. it. Um, all the things that you you know keep in your wallet need to be able to go inside of the passbook or right. wherever it's going to go. So I, maybe that'll be like next level stuff. Oh, and you know, I was just at 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 Subway and I did my you know they're still using those little sticky things to do your do your do your rewards points, and that's what it's missing. What Lo- loyalty. Loyalty. It's missing loyalty. So when I walk into the Gregory's coffee shop and I pay with the Gregory's app, All right. It's accumulating, you know, for every fifty dollars I spend, I get five. Right. And when I walk into Chopped and I pay with the Chopped app, which are both back ended by level up, um, for every hundred dollars I spend I get ten. Right. So it's accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Right. When they build loyalty into this thing and I just wonder how they'll do that because it's sort of store specific and this is abstracts the store. It's car uh, card specific. So you walk into subway, you're paying with your Amex. You're not paying with your like subway app with right. your Amex in it. Different story. I guess. No, I, I maybe totally... they can just leverage the pay API or something. But cause, uh... cause we saw the ability for an app to, buy now using apple pay right so like even the open table one was the coolest example i mean there were there were some really cool examples and i think open table was great right you you go to that open table app on your phone you book a reservation for two for dinner and when you're done you just pay with the open table app which accepts Apple Pay, right? So that's that's the world that I want. So to I live think in. that's gonna happen. So can you imagine a world where you open bring up your loyalty in? You bring your chopped, you bring up your chopped app, and right? It says, how do you want to pay? And instead of level up, you just goodbye level up. Where well, Apple no. Pay, Apple level up is behind it. It's just you Apple Pay to level up. So it comes up as that, and then you Apple Pay, level, then you get the reward. Level up doesn't really need to be there anymore. 
Um, I think to do all the rewards. Maybe stuff, I that's guess what, the loyalty. That's stuff. what it does. I guess. So the payment stuff goes. I, I it's competing. I just love that I'm not giving. I mean, this is the thing I have the problem with the chopped and all those is like I don't your credit really, cards in there. I don't want to have way my to cards. ride. Hey, that's gonna be great when when the when the taxis start to yep. take it. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. Can't it's wait. it. The world is is very cool with with Apple Pay, and I'm excited to. Again, I I want the day where I don't where my wallet is very thin. Like literally, it just has my wallet's just a card holder, right? Where it just well, just a card holder. So then you don't need it. That is my wallet. Well, and cash. There's no cash. You have in no there. cash for. And MetroCard. There's another one I want. MetroCard, right? A swipey ding, swipey swipe for. So anyway, pretty cool. So the Apple retail store is also going to be accepting Apple Pay. Yeah. And in the Apple retail store, coming. In 2015, you'll be able to purchase a little wristy watch. Oh, I was going to say it's now time to talk about the next announcement. I was segueing into it. Oh. Did you like that? No, it wasn't. It did it's a too, pretty good job there. It was, a lay, it was too much of a layup. It was just too easy. And you'll have to go into the Apple store. You should, you should have run out of time, reference. But anyway, so the next big announcement was the one more thing that took a good hour and a half to demo. <laughs> it was an hour. They spent an hour on it. Which... Uh, I have now seen you go from wanting it badly to saying you're not going to buy it to now wanting it badly, and I'm sure now it's been an half an hour. And just, now you're back I'm to so it. waffling on it. It's all right. Um, which is the Apple Watch, which has been long, long rumored. I mean, this has been rumored forever, starting back in the days when you know the Pebble and uh, all these sort of devices taking over the wristwatch. You know, from from the Fitbits, the Fuel Bands. Well, wasn't to... there that one that just took a shuffle and? Sh- and just I had that dropped it into that was, a that was thing. one of the first Kickstarter projects that actually went you know over a million dollars or something was you could take a shuffle the one with the little face on it and then you could stuff it into a band and then it more made the watch so I had that and it was okay and I had the pebble and it was okay I think as I rewatch the video or watch the video with you about it you know there's this watch aspect to it which I'm I'm lukewarm on. I have watches. It tells I, time with I, great precision. I happen to like watches, and I happen to wear nice watches. So part of the watch side is less important to me. But then when they go into the fitness stuff, and this is how I made my argument to you and why you probably end up buying it, is I said, if this is just a fitness device that tracks all this stuff and keeps it and syncs it with my phone and does all that, I'm in. It's ju- if it's just an Apple-branded fitness device, fuck, forget watch. It's an Apple branded fitness. You got device. me with that one because the fitness, as you said, you're like, yeah, Apple could put stuff in a box and put an Apple on it. It'd be three hundred bucks, and I'm gonna buy it. No, so, I said it's a. I said if it's a three hundred fifty dollar Apple, Apple fitness, fitness thing, thing, I'm buying it. it no so, doubt. It you do need an iPhone, yes, because some of the marketing materials are a little like. I mean, they mention it very quickly. Yes, you need an iPhone. You need an iPhone. But then they're like, in the video, it's like, with this one device, you can track all of these things, except with not really mentioning another the fact device. that that other device needs to be like in your pocket or strapped to your arm still. I mean, you saw all these people running with the Apple Watch. Right. And it's like, well, where the hell is the phone? Where's the phone? Right. Like, it's not strapped to your arm. You're not going to want that in your pocket. It's with the cameraman, of course. <laughs> John, John so Ivy's like, got so it. So it's like as cool as this thing that's sitting on your watch is, your or sitting on your wrist is, you're still gonna have that other thing strapped right. to your arm because there's no Be- better place to put it. But because this thing, that's the that's, that's the thing that it needs to connect to everything else. Well, fine, do I the get stuff, why right. you need it. I'm just saying it's like with this one device, no, with this one device and this other thing strapped to your arm, you're gonna be able to do all these cool things. Right, fascinating. Um, let me ask you a question. Okay. Question: What watch are you wearing today? I'm wearing my uh, Bon Mercier. So you're gonna take that watch and not wear that. And this watch? isn't my good watch. Yeah, this is so my you're second gonna take watch. that watch and you're gonna take it off and you're gonna wear this thing. St- well, yes, wrist? because here's because here's where I am today. So in my and this is fascinating podcasting for the people. So please turn off now. But you downloaded, so thank you for listening. So, again, I use this app called Argus. I already made it my pick of the week, so I'm not saying. That tracks all my – it tracks all my steps and calories, and I take my heartbeat every morning. How many and steps have you stepped today? Only 2,600. It's really terrible. Oh, how many do I have today? 
I'm um, at 2647. There we you were, go. We were apparently been together we've been together we've been doing all that and i put in like if i go to the gym i put in basic stuff and it's kind of a nice little app it's got a great interface it does some nice graphing to show what you're doing so but the 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 issue with it is i have to have it in my pocket because it's it's tracking in here so i don't know but you're still going to need that well i have my phone all the time i don't know how close it needs to be i don't know if i but you can't you're going to walk around with two watches on or all these well, really nice watches that you've collected are just going to sit in this thing and collect dust. I don't know. Just because you want my, like but that. You, you're, you're, it's not fair because this is what I told you my concern this was. Is, this is not fair. I've, I have other things. I all mean, right, watches, go for it. So like I could go to a store, a watch store. Yes. And I could buy a pretty nice watch for 350 bucks. Not a like awesome watch not the watch you're wearing on your wrist but i can buy a watch for 350 bucks. yes you can buy a watch you can well, buy a watch for 10 bucks i can I, I can get better than a timex and better than a swatch for 350 dollars. Okay. i can do all right i don't think you shot for a watch recently but okay. i can do okay for 350 well, depends bucks what you watch. want i want a watch that tells time that works it's 10 dollars you can go to Stop you can go it. to a gum machine and get I that i can get a very nice looking watch for 350 oh, well, but that's all right but let's stop here Watches aren't about nice looking. Really? No, because watches is like, and I, you're clearly not a watch person. No. But watch, Do you see a watch on my wrist? No. Watch, watch things are insane. People are about the movement and the design and the additions and the brand. It's, it's much more like bags. Like your wife collects. Right. Very big into the bag. This stupid bag does the same. This $20,000 bag does the same thing that this bag I got for free at the at Arcus's booth last year does. <laughs> one's free. One's $20,000. They both carry right. stuff. This might actually carry more stuff. It probably does. Same thing with watches. The reason she wants the twenty thousand dollar bag. Let's not, let's not go into her. Let's keep. I'm this saying on. she has my wife. My wife likes Whatever. it, but she wants one. Doesn't so have one. Here's but the point here's is, the thing. it's about design, right? And designer and name brand and Great. movement and all this. For three hundred fifty bucks, you can get a watch that that isn't like you know high end, but isn't low end either. No, that's low end in in watch world. Three hundred and fifty bucks is it's not like, low like saying, end. It's like going to a store and getting no. Well, like, you were just like, well, you can get a watch for ten bucks. That's yes. low end. Three hundred fifty dollars is a lot more than ten dollars. Million dollars. I understand. Okay, so but three hundred fifty dollars is not ten dollars. Low end. Low end on watches. I would put it above low end. It's no, it's not. It's not. But it's, it's not a ten dollar watch. It's not a. No. It's not a digital Timex thing end. with Indiglo on it. I'm just saying. Okay, fine. Anything under a thousand dollars is basically low end. Okay, fine. I mean, a thousand and five thousand is like. Let's take a thousand bucks. Okay, thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. So I go into a watch store. I got a thousand dollars in my hands. This episode of Watches Weekly brought to you. Well, by... I can get like a decent watch for a thousand bucks. Okay, so I get a decent watch for a thousand bucks. How long is that watch gonna last me? How long is a decent thousand dollar watch? As yeah. long as you want to keep it. Well, like, how long is it really gonna last? Forever. Me? Forever. Yeah, because how long is this watch gonna last me? This is gonna last you for three years max. Max. Yeah. Max. But you wait, but didn't you just make it decide deciding that you buy a new phone every year? Every year. year. A six phone. to eight hundred dollar phone every That's year. That's right. Best phone out there. Well, I don't know. It's not the same thing. How often how many iPads have you gone through? How many computers? Computers, iPads, what have you. Wait, they okay. don't have a comparison to watch. Here's though. my ring. Don't I have buy one and I'm keeping. Well, yeah, it's all the same stuff. Not really. It's the same stuff. Mm. You just have to decide is this a technical thing that's part of your technical gear that you then replace every three years or two years or one year? Right. Or is this a momentum that you wear and collect? No. Right. I totally agree. So I have watches that are like meaningful to me and are collect, not collectible, but are like pieces. And then I have technology and i know that technology for me is not something that i look back and like oh look at that trio 650 i had oh i should wear that tomorrow you should save that do you, do you stop I, it? I have i have the other else. piece about it that right. i find hard but if i is, told you it's a the... 350 dollar amazing remember tracker. i'm not i don't even have a wearable i've been the guy who said i have you no said wearables. you were gonna wait for the apple wearable that's right and right, now, so I'm, now i've got to decide waffling. if i'm i'm very waffly some, I'm concerned about. I'm that concerned waffle. about. Oh, so wa- good. Mm, waffles. I'm concerned. Yes. About the life span of the battery. Oh yeah, definitely. Because if I'm really using it 
every day yep. and I'm using it as a fitness device yep. and it's tracking all this stuff for me because I'm going to want it. That, yeah. Look, if I'm wearing it, it's tracking stuff. Yeah. I want it to track, yeah, that track stuff. everything. I'm concerned I'm not going to make it through the day. At, at, the, at first it will. I know it will. But right. six months in, yeah. am I going to be like, huh? Right. It's like six o'clock in the evening and I'm ready to, to go watch. for my run and it's like I have to charge my I have watch. To charge my watch. I totally And then hear if you. I go away and I don't remember to bring my charger that charges nothing else in the universe except for this in- watch. Induction charger. So we've cool. created the best charger ever that does nothing but charge this watch. Right. Like it's induction. You know, like it, I I could oh. come on. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look Take at that. that off the table. Um that concerns me a little because, like, what if I go on a vacation and I forget that charger and it's like, oh, this is my watch and it's going to last a day and then I can just totally. basically just chuck it in the bag. Well, these are these are the things that I totally I totally agree with you. I carry – so I have – I made one of my picks was a Mio and you've seen me wear it. I wear it when I wear a run. It's a heart rate monitor, but it just does it on your wrist. Right. Right. So it doesn't have to get the big strap across your chest that you used to have to wear. Um, and it – and it's I only wear it running. I don't do anything else with it. And I don't wear it like sitting in the office. Um, but I wear it running. It hooks up to my phone. It does all that great stuff. Uh, but it needs to be charged. So when I go on a vacation, I tend, I have to take the thing. It's a specialized thing for just that tr- charger. Amazing. I, there's also the pet. I mean, oh, what's, there's another device that I use that needs a special charger. So like when I go, I'm like, I have to. Oh, Kindle. It needs the you know mini usb charger right i you need the apple lightning for right you need the lightning you need the one that does the i mean this is kind of the I world get it for in. a watch right they wanted to make it look good they didn't want to throw a little lightning thing on the side of it i think that's not about looks i think that's about i think uh, it was about the look because they could have thrown a little lightning thing little, anywhere like, they wanted little to. thing that you open up and that there's a lightning thing anywhere they wanted on that thing i think it's about the the um the Areas to go in, the more areas you have to go into the watch, the more chances to water and whatever. So they're trying to seal it, and that's why it's an induction charger. It's not a – doesn't go into it. doesn't plug in. It's right. induction. It's just like a magnet. Yes, which is darn cool. Again, I don't look at it as like a timepiece. I look at it as a wearable computer, and I'm interested in the wearable computer fitness aspect. I'm very more than interested. I'm totally intrigued. I totally want to know how you get an app onto it. Yes. They had no – conversation about how that worked nope how much memory it has yeah like how big is life they said it's it's starts at 349 starts at that means there's bigger ones and you know the watch bands how much is a band i'm am i gonna get burned because i'm gonna buy the sport band and the regular band and then the next one's gonna come out and it's gonna use different bands that's gonna (laughs) piss me off this is the thing when this is where the you and i different on this stuff i just i i enjoy it for the time i have it consider it cost of living yes i consider it like a tax (laughs) same thing i pay taxes that's awesome all right one's uh, a choice one's a must do no these are not things we need in our life these are total things but anyway i'm excited about it we're both excited i'm gonna get it i just you get it i'm always skeptical you know you can use that that coin refund you're gonna get put towards it (laughs) maybe i'll use my coin to buy it (laughs) will my coin integrate with apple pay which one which one will start working first apple pay or coin oh that's right apple Apple pay will be here here. it'll just be on my phone oh it's too bad it's it's kind can't of the wait, reason when can't I can't wait to go to Subway and buy a Subway sandwich. When I saw that, or Dwayne Reed and buy some deodorant. It's my thing I said about the coin the other day. I think that it's 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 this awesome idea, but it looks like someone who has a trillion dollars in R and D can come in and swipe up in four seconds. And he's a little guy who had to go around for a year for six months testing every little swiper. Yeah, any swipes? Yeah, you're just you're Sorry, not going to scale. Um. All right. Well, that that was the Apple announcement. Anything else they did on YouTube? We started listening YouTube, to the YouTube. We free. both downloaded the album. They didn't talk about. I mean, I'll say they didn't. They didn't really go into that was any a the, cool little thing they did there. What they were like? Yeah, we're just gonna go give everyone this album. Anybody has an app, app uh, an Apple I, ID? Yeah. Here you go. Million people. Here you are, people. Here's an album. Here's a platinum album. Yeah. Done. Well, it was funny. Is no that one paid the, for it. The album is of an LP, so it's a kind Love of it. like a throwback. Here's an LP looking album, well, which you is know, of course digital. You know, I, I we buy LPs. Yes. Well, the, there's the Edelstein family buys LPs. Craziness. You get the free digital download, and you get the physical copy. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Who can beat that? And you have a wind up watch. So there you go. Don't have a watch at all. Don't have a watch. Do you, that's funny because we're having the, the watch your dad gave you. I, I, I wore it for like a month and then I was like, I don't, I don't want to wear it. It's annoying <laughs> on my wrist. So I might not get this thing. I don't, I don't like things on my wrist. I don't, I just, I, I never wear jewelry. I don't it's like not. it. It's technology. You're wearing technology. Uh, it, Talk I got to it. Siri. You know what? You know what? It is going to be the the thing that I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to wait for you to get it to put it on my wrist to see if I can wear it like and and function in well, life. Well, it's also not a life-changing event. Like $250, okay? Yeah. You buy it, you don't like it, you turn it back, you Listen, refund it. I can go to my Starwood hotel and put my wrist up to the door and open so, the door. So cool. I can book an american airlines flight and right. just get on the flight with my watch i'm just interested in seeing how they evo- how the evolution of this watch turns into a computer that is like star trek because that's what i want i want siri to be there you want a beam no i want what hey computer i want hey siri and i want that watch which is now because i have my hand up it's now you know six inches from my mouth i want the watch to be picking up on it and then talk to other things um, all right. Well, that's that's our uh, Apple announcements, which is all about Apple announcements. Next week, we're going to do some uh, a very special cloud focus weekly Salesforce winter 14 and the Salesforce tech fund that was announced. And we might talk a little bit about the uh, the new virus that I've been getting uh, a lot of people asking me about which is uh, going around that's targeting Salesforce users. Yeah. And maybe how to protect yourself. Mm, good one. Yes. Right? That's good. <laughs> so, yeah. so we're going to do the 5 o'clock news thing. New virus out that will destroy your world. More at, dun, more at 5 o'clock. Dun, <laughs> Tune in at 10. Dun, dun, um, so let's get to your Cloud Focus app pick of the week. All right. So Make it good. <laughs> I'm really not picking an app. I'm picking this. This was good enough for you to write OMG exclamation OMG. point in our chat. So excited about this. So, so first excited. of all, I want to plug the website. This is on wentari.com. W e n t a r i dot com. Um, written by Peter Young on Twitter. It's at p l y y. Okay, and he wrote this post. On how to mass delete pick list values from a field in Salesforce. Right. This so is pretty good. The use case is this: you've got this pick list field that's got a lot of values in it. Let's like, just what, say, give me, like, give me, what's a lot? Well, a lot Define is in the lot. thousands, a thousand. A but yesterday, I had this example where I had a hundred and fifty something pick list values in an already created field. Now, I could have just deleted the field and recreated the field if I wanted to, but I did not want to do that. As I reminded you. Anyway. Well, someone else said that to me, too. They're like, why didn't you just do that? I'm like, I didn't want to do that. It was already there. It was on the layout. I didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to delete the values. And uh, so I couldn't do it from Eclipse. It wouldn't let me. And I was searching around the Internet. It took me a couple minutes, and I found this article to mass delete pick list values in Salesforce. So... You can use JavaScript in a bookmark. Right. So you create a bookmark, you put it in your bookmark bar. Speaking and, speaking of viruses. <laughs> speaking of viruses, right. So the JavaScript is basically picking out the DEL links. So if you're if right. for anyone who's looked at a uh, you know, the setup screen in Salesforce for a pick list, there's the DEL for delete. And right. that would that's basically the way you'd have to do it. You'd have to click the delete button and wait for it to delete and then click the delete button again and wait for that to delete and so on and so forth down the page. Sounds so the, the reason why I had to delete these was because I had an incomplete set. So someone gave me 150 of their pick list values and then later on they gave me 350. And I didn't know which of the 350 were already in there. So I needed, as you know, you can't, just add 350 the to the same. list because some of them are dupes and Salesforce yeah, way, doesn't allow you to do that for right. some crazy should. reason, which it should, but anyway. Uh, so I needed to delete and then re, you know, re-input the 350 values in a pick list. I like it. So I navigated to the page after creating my bookmark 
or my bookmarklet. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might want to call this a bookmarklet. I don't know. And I click the button, the bookmark. And I did it in Chrome. Chrome wanted to kill the page, but I said no wait. Okay. Because it's, you know, it's all running sitting there in JavaScript running. Right. So in his article, he said if you're if I've tested in Chrome it works. Um if if you see like Chrome may hang, it the page is going to look like it's hanging. Right. Chrome's going to ask you if you want to kill it. Don't kill it. Just wait it right. out. So I clicked wait. I waited. I gave it a couple minutes. I refreshed the page. They were all gone. Boom. Gone. Wow, nice. And then I was able to add my 350 more values. And uh, the only thing is you got to keep one. So, oh, wow, yeah, the funny. last one. So once that one Solid. was... Once that one was kept, I actually edited that one and said, this is an old one. Delete me when you're done. <laughs> that was my, oh. my my little way of knowing which one it was. <laughs> okay. Because I changed the value. So then I deleted that one myself after loading in the other. So anyway, the link for this blog post, which has the code in it, the JavaScript in it, right, will be in the show notes, yes? Uh, yes. And on the website. Yes, it will always be there. That's blog.argusync.com. There's no company. It's free. And uh, it's just a blog post with uh, some JavaScript in it called Mass Delete Picklist Values in Salesforce. Nice. Nice. Well, that's a good pick. Um, I am. May, I might use it. If you ever come across the need for it, you know? But maybe. Maybe. Maybe I will. Just saying. Uh, I am going to pick something that I have. I thought we might have picked at some point, but I don't think we have because I asked you and you hadn't picked it. No, I've never used it. So, um, The other partner that shall not be named, he does use this because I know he uses it in the car. I've just never had the subscription. So as a funny way of going around the around the bend to get to the story, I I have a car. And when I bought the car, it came with Sirius XM for the first three months. Or I, yeah, Sirius. Right? Because I don't think XM was – I don't think it merged at that point. And it's like three months. It's perfect, right? And I had bought my car halfway across the country. I had to drive it back. So I flew out, bought my car, and then drove it back for two days. So nothing was better than having a brand new Sirius that I could listen to. And at that point, NFL Network. And I could listen to NFL Network for about, I don't know, two days straight in the car. And it was great. So I've been a fan. But I don't drive my car that very often. Like once every two weeks. And so it's kind of like something I kind of use, but don't really use, but kind of use. So... So every year they, they send me this bill, and I, for all these listening to it, you don't ever pay your serious bill out the door. You just call them up, you say, I want to cancel, and then they'll give it to you for half price every single time. It's $164 for the year, and then I called them up, and it's like, okay, $81. I was like, okay. But then I said, well, what about, I've been hearing, they keep advertising for this fantasy channel, serious NFL fantasy channel, and I'm like, I don't get the fantasy channel. And of course, like any sucker, they then said, well, for another $30 a year, you can get the fantasy channel because it it comes on, it comes in the all access pass, which you can then use on, you can use on any device. You can use it on your iPhone, your iPad, or just online, you can get the, you can get the serious access I was like, oh, I, I want that. So anyway, I'm picking Sirius XM, the app, not the service. Uh, I'm picking the app because the app is on the iPhone, iPad. I'm, you know, it's also online, and and it's just a nice little app. You can base basically it's serious, but now you can put it anywhere, so you don't have to be in your car. You don't have to have one of those dedicated devices which is what they used to have and they used to have to pay for every device you had so if you had it like if you had it in one radio you had to pay to put it in another radio it was a weird model now it's it's literally just streaming it's on an app right it comes with the internet it's, not, it's Sirius XM that doesn't even come from a satellite because it's coming down to some internet station some you know and then coming through the internet which is even weird because it's a it's a satellite station this is not this thing isn't talking to a satellite Hmm. Right? Think about it. No, it's not. It's so through the internet. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, it does have, they have lots of stations. And they're kind of fun. And, you know, they're, I don't know if you guys have SiriusXM. Um, there are, if you're a Howard Stern fan, they've got Howard Stern yes. channels. I know you listen to that. I do. Um, I'm a big fan of the NFL radio. They basically have a channel that's like 24 hours of NFL radio. And then now they have this new um fantasy sports radio where they then go back and forth and talk fantasy sports um it's not all football sports but it's, it does have a lot to do so that's kind of fun so anyway that's my pick it is free but of course there are services and you have to pay for things and 
I feel like this is the last of this. I think Sirius, I think within 10 years, this the satellite radio will be done because internet will be ubiquitous everywhere. And then why I mean, we have internet now in like subway stations. Like, why do I need, I don't need satellite anymore. So I think, I think they're on their last legs, but anyway, for now join for a year and don't pay for it. Go out and grab the, uh, call them up and they'll offer you a thing. It's a very strange thing, but anyway, save yourself some money. So that's my pick of the week. That's it. Follow Justin and all of his Apple watch problems at, at just Elstein followed me and all my non problems said no problems at, at Jason M Atwood on Twitter and Arcus Inc on the Twitter. We're on facebook.com slash Arcus Inc. We're on the Google plus we're on the LinkedIn. We're also on Stitcher. If you want to listen to podcasts on Stitcher or on uh, iTunes, you can subscribe on both and leave a review on both. Go to the success community, Salesforce success community, where you can go into the group. You should probably go into the group because as we get close to the Dreamforce, that's probably where we'll be putting our Dreamforce stuff is in there because it's for people who are going to Dreamforce. So that's a good place to go and get into that group because we'll be putting things in there. Maybe where to meet us, how to meet us, how to get, I don't know what else, how to throw things at us. <laughs> um, and we'll be back uh, next week with uh, all the stuff we talked about. Until then, as always, enjoy those cloudy days. Bye.